This is Massimo Raineri, Head of Systems Development Biometry, Octalion Pharmaceuticals. The traditional way of collecting data in clinical trials is paper. For each patient, a paper case report form is given to the investigator. The investigator fills the data and then at the end returns the case report form to the sponsor. The new way is EDC, Electronic Data Capture. It's a web interface and the doctor is requested to type data into the web interface. And then we have this hybrid technology, which is a digital pen and paper, where the interface is paper, but the electronic device, which is the pen, is capturing data and transmitting them to the sponsor as soon as they are written on the paper. Well, different technologies has different advantages and disadvantages. Paper case report form is welcomed by investigators because it's easy, but it's not uh, so much accepted by sponsors because data come very late. And nowadays, having data immediately is very important. The web interface, so EDC, is very welcome for the speed by the sponsor, but is not so very well appreciated by investigators because sometimes they feel that having to type data on a keyboard and having to learn many systems is uh, wasting their time. Digital pen and paper is combining benefits of the two worlds in such a way that uh, investigators continue to use the paper as they were used to and the sponsor company can get the data immediately in electronic form. Well, I think that uh, digital pen and paper is a very good data collection tool for many reasons. A very important one is that everybody is used to write. Writing is natural. So you can uh, write without having to drive your attention away from what you are doing. In this way, the quality of the data that you are capturing is uh, very high and this is very important in clinical trials. Another very good reason is that uh, it remains a paper copy demonstrating what you have collected. So it's very easy to validate. It's also very important in clinical trials. Deploying a digital pen and paper system is very easy. You make the installation, which is about 10 minutes, and then the training is just a matter of showing how it works. It's uh, five minutes. On a normal computer-based system, you need a training on the operating procedure, then the investigator and the nurse needs to learn some technicalities about how to connect, how to log in, how to navigate across menus and so on while with a digital pen is really like using a normal pen. This technology is very well accepted by study nurses and investigators because it's not changing the way they are used to work. They, not, they don't need a lot of training, they can maintain the normal assessment practice and it's not changing the interaction with the patient, which is really the most important point. There are uh, studies which show that uh, Collecting data with a pen or with a digital pen is more accurate because everybody is used to writing with the pen. So you can do it without thinking too much and without driving your attention away from what you are doing. So the number of errors is very low and the quality of the data is really high. So you can have many more data entry mistakes when you type on a keyboard compared to writing with the normal pen or with a digital pen. Well, in the last couple of years, I really see an increased interest in digital pen and paper. I receive requests about writing articles, uh, receiving interviews from journals, and also presenting this topic in international meetings. The future for the digital pen and paper is going to be the patient diaries. You know, in patient diaries, you give some document to the patient, you, and you ask them to register what they are doing at home how they feel and which drug they take. So if you give them a PDA or a computer, this can be a problem, especially for elderly patients. While if you give them digital pen and paper, this is natural for them and there is no problem. The cost of developing a new drug has increased significantly during the last 20 years and now probably exceeds $1 billion. Clinical trials account for approximately 40% of the cost. The use of digital pen and paper speeds up the costly and time-consuming process of drug development. Cutting the time for approval of a drug by one week can mean saving $1 million or more.